Welcome. This tutorial is designed to help even a reasonably bad infantryman turn into a mighty titan slayer, ready to climb on the backs of enemy titans and slaughter them in glorious battle. The purpose of this video is to cover some of the information one would need when fighting titans as a pilot that wasn't included in the in-game tutorials, and offer some basic information on the finer points of rodeoing enemy titans. If you don't understand the basic mechanics of the game, I recommend you play the single-player tutorial missions included in the game before watching this video. Now. Are you ready to become a lean, mean, titan-killing machine? Good. Then let's get to work. The first thing you should know is that there is no button to press to grab onto an enemy titan. If you're jumping towards or falling on top of a titan, your character will automatically grab onto it and climb onto the titan's back, unless you're too close to the legs of the titan or facing in the wrong direction, in which case the titan may trample you. It should be noted that you can be stepped on and crushed while attempting to jump up if you're too close to the legs and the Titan's pilot moves just at the wrong time. So, whenever attempting to climb onto an enemy Titan, the biggest safety you have is coming at it from a high enough position. Most of the time, simply jumping at it will be sufficient unless you're very close and jumping essentially throws you into the Titan's legs. Once that's taken care of, it'll be very easy to get on top of Titans. You should also be aware that when jumping at a Titan from in front, the Titan will have an opportunity to melee you and block you, and both player and AI Titans can perform melee moves to attempt to intercept you when you're jumping from in front, which can result in either your instant death or being knocked away. That said, being high enough will tend to avoid this risk, and if you're jumping at a Titan from any reasonable elevation, you'll probably be fine. However, AI Titans will also attempt to shoot you if you're jumping at them from in front. So remember, while jumping at a Titan from in front is doable, it's best to jump onto a Titan from either of the sides, behind, or preferably from above. Remember that your double jump ability is reset whenever you touch something, so jumping onto a roof and immediately jumping onto a Titan is an option. A healthy habit that will come with practice will be estimating how long you should wait to trigger your second jump, because that depends largely on the situation. With a little practice, one can learn when to double jump for speed's sake, and when to wait a moment for more air and distance. Now, on the subject of speed, it should be noted that sprinting and jumping at a Titan can give you what you need to land on top of it, but this is in some cases risky, as you don't always have the speed you need from just sprinting and jumping if the Titan notices you or is moving the wrong way. Sometimes Titans are aware of your presence and trying to back away from you, or they're trying to shoot at you, and sprinting may not be enough to catch up. If you frequently encounter situations like these, I recommend trying out the Stim ability to see if that's right for you, since Stim allows you to catapult yourself with great speed at an enemy titan, hurling yourself through the air like a mighty boulder. And this is especially useful on more open maps that have less terrain to wall run or jump off of. The speed boost from Stim can be used to help you catch up to titans that are fleeing from your wrath, and can help launch you through the air onto your prey. It may or may not be your style, but at least give it a try for the manly feeling of chasing down titans as they flee. Now, let's talk for a moment about what happens once you're on top of that titan. There are three potential risks. The first is that the enemy pilot will come out of his titan and try to shoot you off. This can be defended against in a few different ways. Firstly, whenever an enemy exits his titan, it gives a very obvious kneeling and opening animation that will be extremely difficult to miss, so you'll know when he's jumping out of his titan. Furthermore, you also know where this pilot is going to be thrown, meaning you can either jump off the titan to kill him when you see him jump out, or, once you've unlocked satchel charges, throw explosives in front of the titan where the enemy pilot is going to land, and blow him to pieces once he emerges from his titan. Particularly swift enemies can escape this fate, but most of the time this will secure you a kill. Now, it should be noted that the AI titans that don't have pilots in them will adopt this same kneeling stance whenever you jump onto them. Don't be fooled into thinking this is an enemy coming out of his titan. Remember, if the Titan starts adopting its kneeling position the instant you come into contact with it, it's probably not a human, since they tend to take at least a second or so to react, unless they saw you coming. The next defense a Titan has against you is Electric Smoke, which some Titans can deploy to damage infantry and Titans around it. This is a convenient way to get pilots off of the Titan's back, but it has its weaknesses. That being, it only lasts a few seconds, and the Titan must sit in it to keep you away. In many cases, you'll have ample time to jump off the Titan and wait for the smoke to clear, so you can hop right back on, or, if needed, force the pilot to come out of the Titan where you can then kill him. Now, it should be noted that destroying a Titan from shooting the weak point on the top of it isn't necessarily fast. It's recommended that you take fast-firing weapons if you want to specialize in hunting Titans. 
but for more defense specialized titans, it can sometimes take around 30 seconds. This brings to mind the third defense titans have, having one of his teammates notice what you're up to and coming to save his buddy. While you could potentially jump off and escape, the best solution for this situation is not to be caught in it. Before you jump onto a titan, consider, are there any enemy titans close by that he could run to for help? If there is more than one titan, are they distracted by one of your teammates or a firefight going on? If so, it may be wiser to jump on one that's towards the back to avoid being easily noticed by more enemies. Perhaps use of the arc grenades or other equipment may be prudent. And on the subject of knowing when to jump off a titan, that brings me to my final point in this video. Most of the time, when a titan you're killing is destroyed, even if it's going nuclear and self-destructing, you'll be ejected and catapulted into the air automatically, and will most likely land safely. Sometimes, however, you can die from such an explosion. Normally, this will be from a titan going nuclear and you being catapulted into a ceiling and still being in the blast radius. Sometimes, you'll need to jump away to avoid dying, so it may be a good idea to be wary of your surroundings if you make a habit of slaying titans. That concludes this video, covering some basic information on how to kill titans. You should not fear the titan. The titan should fear you. Heed my words, and I promise you glory. Now go, slay titans for the glory of us all. I'll see you next time. Later, YouTube.